Welcome to Test Taking Tricks using the Graphing Calculator Part 3, Multiplying and Dividing Polynomials. Test writers save their heaviest artillery for these types of problems. They're intimidating. They make these problems all those numbers and letters to intimidate you. They look big and scary. They just want you to roll over, give up, surrender, wave the proverbial white flag. We need to remember the words of the great Sir Winston Churchill. Never give up. Never, never, never give up. But never fear, G-Dog is here. I'm going to help you through this. Well, we're going to come go to where you came to here for the first place, and that's the problems. We have a typical uh, multiplying bino binomial problems. Here you have two binomials, 3x plus 5, 2x plus 1. The test writer had the courtesy to put both of those binomials in parentheses, which makes it easier for us. So we're going to multiply both of those together and see which one of these answers is correct. So we turn on our calculator and we're going to enter a value, in this case I entered 0.9, you can enter whatever value you want, just don't make sure it's not negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2, and then you press the storage key, and then the X key, and then press enter, and we get 0.9 stored for X. Now we're going to enter the length of the room, which is 3X plus 5, so we've entered that, and then we enter the other binomial, again in parentheses, 2x plus 1, we press enter, we get a value of 21.56. So we're going to go ahead and try these answers and see which one also gives us a value of 21.56. So we enter this first expression for f and we get 36.86, not correct, we cross it out. Go on to the next one and choice g, we press enter. And we get 21.56, which is the same as the original expression we put in. Since they're both the same, that is our answer. We're going to try, of course, since we're responsible students, H and J, just, be, just to rule them out positively. We do that, and we circle G as our correct answer. Now let's go on to one of these um, exponent problems. These exponents are hard, laws of exponents are hard to remember sometimes, and so we're going to use our test taking trick to do this. And we're first going to store a value of 0.7 for A, of 0.8 for B, and 0.9 for C. Again, we could have used different values than these three. Now we're going to enter the first expression at the top, and we, we enter, no, notice the exponent key to the right of the calculator, just below the clear key that gives you your exponents and it's important when you have a division of polynomials that you put the numerator and especially the denominator in parentheses and here we've entered the denominator and it has to be in parentheses or else the order of operations with that c squared at the bottom is really going to wreak havoc so we press enter and we get a value of 1.52 for this expression. And so we're going to check answer choices A, B, C, and D until we get the right answer. We try choice A, put it in our calculator, press enter. We do not get 1.52, we get 0.29. So we're going to go ahead and cross that out and proceed to choice B. And we enter that and notice that the numerator and denominator both of this expression are in parentheses again very important we press enter we do not get 1.52 we get 1.88 so we're going to cross that out as incorrect we're going to go on to choice C now here we have that all in the numerator we don't need to put this in parentheses a to the seventh power b to the seventh power c to the third power press enter and we get 0 0.013 that is we rule that out because that's not the right thing now we expect to see for D a right answer. Again, we enter the numerator and denominator of this expression in parentheses and press enter, and we get the same thing, 1.52, and so that is going to be our correct answer, and we circle that as correct. Now we have an expression where we have a length and width of a, of a rectangle, and those are both in, in uh, binomial form, the length and the width. Now notice that the test writer did not put the those two binomials in parentheses so on your 
test paper, you can do that. Just mentally remind, remind yourself that needs to be done. And so we're going to enter that area in our calculator. Again, we're going to store a value for x. I chose 0.9. You can use a different value. And I multiply these two binomials together and press enter, and we get an answer of 1.4. Now we're going to try the different choices amongst these four and see which one is right. And so trying choices f and g first, I've entered them all at once here to show you that one of those, choice F is 3.3, .3, choice G is 6.6, is .6, and either of those is correct, so we cross them off as incorrect. Now we're going to try choice H, so we enter that, and we get for this expression 1.4, which is the same as our original uh, area of the rectangle, so we know that that one is right. Now we're going to try one that has a little bit, a little bit of a twist to it. We have a total area of this rectangle, and we have a length that is one of these four answer choices and it gives us the width and so the length times the width is going to equal the area so we need to multiply each of these lengths time that width of x plus 4 to see which one gives us 3x squared plus 14x plus 8 and so we set up our calculator again I've stored 0 0.9 to x you can store another number to x and then we enter the expression of area and get a value of 23.03 .03. so we're going to write that down here and try choice F so that's going to be 3x, quantity 3x plus 2 times quantity x plus 4 and here it is and we multiply together and also get 21.03 so we see that is a correct answer and so we circle choice F is correct now we have one that uh, again as a division of monomials problem and what I'd like you to do is stop the video see if you can work this one out using our test taking trick again you need to start by storing values for A, B and C you don't need to use the same ones that I used but go ahead and do that and come back and we'll see if you got it right okay here it is. Here's the answer, uh, point 0.97, and that's going to be for the original expression. So we try the different choices, and choice F entered is not right. It's negative 0.29, but choice G, 2A, quantity 2A divided by uh, 3C to the third power, that is right. So G is our right answer and we of course take the time to examine all the other choices now as in summary you need to remember to store values other than negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 for each variable and secondly be careful to use parentheses when multiplying by polynomials with more than one term and also whenever dividing polynomials now the reason we go through these test taking tricks is to give you opportunities to do the best you can in tests. Unfortunately, we live in a world where so much of what you're going to be judged for positions and admissions college is by test scores. And so it's important for you, especially on problems of, of uh, low to moderate difficulty, which I think ultimately these, these uh, the test taking trips, tricks are used to solve, are. So go ahead and work at it. Look at some of our other videos, and I wish you great success.